Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your cards, uh, Cancer, we're going to be doing a bit of some shell reading just so we can see more into um, uh, the situation in regards to your love and romance. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019 in regards to your love and romance. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Cancers, for a lot of you guys, I do want to put it out there. Be very careful because um, right in the present position, I do see pregnancy here. So for those of you guys that are not trying to get pregnant, definitely be very, very careful because I do see this very unexpected. So for some of you guys, you may already be pregnant. For others of you, um, I do see like uh, getting pregnant and it's not precisely um, something that you were planning or something that you were wanting. I wouldn't say necessarily unexpected. Um, but again, like I said, you weren't really thinking um, it was more of the heat of the moment. Um, so if you're not wanting to get pregnant, do definitely be careful. Uh, make sure to take care of yourself. Um, and like I said, no surprises if you are in fact, already pregnant. Uh, congratulations for those of you guys that are already aware of that. Um, now, right in the present, as you guys can see here, we have new beginnings for you. Um, in regards to love and romance, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see a relationship starting to build. Um, as you can see, this is a smaller shell and this represents new beginnings. It's the beginning of something, a new endeavor, um, a new connection, a new relationship. For some of you guys, you already know who I'm talking about because if there was, if you recently met someone within the past month, I definitely do see that growing into something more long-term. Um, and for others of you, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, do be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant because I do see pregnancy. Pregnancy is a major um representation of new beginnings and giving birth or giving life to something new. So again, be careful with that. Now, moving forward towards the near future, I do see um, being able to clear out some confusion or some type of um, distancing. For some of you guys, it could have been uh, that you were dealing with some type of distance between you and your family or the family dynamic. For others of you, it could represent like the falling out of connections with family members. And I do see you guys coming back together. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, and for some reason, there was some type of like um, some type of situation where perhaps there was no getting along. For others, it could have been like the family of your partner doesn't necessarily like they're not very accepting of the relationship. I do see them coming back around and trying to build some type of connection or build some type of um, wanting to be around more so because there's been distance between, again, like I said, the partner. So it could be the family's partner. For others of you, it could be you and your family do doesn't necessarily agree with your partnership um, and them wanting to come around not so more because they care about the partner but more because they want to be more present in your life. So don't be surprised if you start to see some type of communication or progress or them, you know, showing up to your house, wanting to um, visit, quote unquote, and trying to pretty much mend fences. I definitely do see that for you guys uh, in the coming weeks. So let's get into your reading, Cancer. Now, we've already shuffled and cut the decks for time purposes, so let's get right into your reading. Now, your first card here, um, Cancer, is the Seven of Pentacles. I see you guys very nostalgic. For some of you guys, it could be the season. For others of you, it could be just taking some time off or taking some time away from work or contemplating. A lot of contemplation happening here. Now, the challenge here is the Seven of Wands. So again, for those of you guys that are currently going through a situation where perhaps your families or sorry, the family of your partner is not very accepting of the relationship, I do see you like almost creating some type of distance or having to protect yourself because perhaps they were just 
very nasty for some of you guys it could have been that they're still very like disagreeable with you um but i do see them coming back around and trying to reconnect um i don't want to i don't want to say in a hypocrite type of way um but more because they do want to be more included in the family or if the partner is the one that is related to them wanting to know more or be more closer to him so I think that's the reason why they're like trying to be nice now. Um, keep your guard up though. Don't be extremely, if you are genuinely wanting to build this connection, um, that's awesome. And that just shows that you are a very good person, but don't necessarily bring your guard down. Um, trust them, but don't trust them blindly is what they're saying. Now, your past and passing position, you do have here the star card. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. For others of you, you could be dealing with the fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, but in the past and passing, I do see you guys very hopeful. Uh, perhaps this is something that you've been dealing with for a while. If it's not in regards to partnerships, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, there is a lot of tension in your family dynamic and I almost see like there is, a, like I said, the mending of fences and wanting to be more inclusive or included in your life. Um, so I do see them trying to proactively win your trust back. Again, like I said, um, if you are trying to build that relationship again, then that's great and that's awesome. Um, but don't be completely like blinded by their intent. Um, give trust, but not completely, okay? Now, your next card here is the Eight of Pentacles. I do see you guys wanting to put effort. For some of you guys, it could represent um, a person from the past um, reaching out or communicating and wanting to, I guess, steer the pot. And what they're telling you here is, again, um, give them the opportunity if it's not something where they completely tarnish that, you know, that connection or that trust that you had in them. Um, if they're willing and wanting to gain that trust back, give them the opportunity, um, but don't completely lose yourself in this relationship, okay? Once they start coming back around, do not completely give yourself and your attention and your time to them because what they're telling you here with the obstacle, be wary of that, okay? Don't be completely, um, don't, ble don't be completely naive. Don't believe them at face value. Let them prove themselves to you. Now, your card here is the Ten of Swords, and this is what's the crowning energy. So with the Ten of Swords, I, again, like I said, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with people from the past coming back around, um, which, by the way, usually tends to happen at the end of the year as well, um, because people get all in their feelings and the holidays and nostalgia. Don't be that person that they call at two in the morning and you answer because you're lonely. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself and don't do that to them. Love yourself enough to pretty much end anything that was already left done. You know what I mean? Like don't, if there was relationships or if there's partnerships or people that perhaps you were dating in the past and all of a sudden you find out they're single and they want to hit you up late at night, don't make yourself too available. Of course, they are saying give the opportunity only for, for those of you guys that were things were left undone or unsaid. Let that pretty much pave the way. If it's something like an ending that needs to happen, let it happen. Don't resist that. But don't get your feelings all rattled up because they're contacting you. Again, I do see this more as a temporary type of thing. So don't fall for it is what they're saying. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, the Ten of Swords could just represent the ending of a struggle when it comes to the family dynamic or when it comes to not being able to see everyone eye to eye or not agreeing. Again, like I said, this is more of an outside type of energy versus you and your partner. I see you guys much more closer or a little bit more stable. Um, just don't allow outside uh, sources or energies to intervene in this relationship. Now, your next card here um, at the bottom is the Five of Wands. So again, 
five of wands is an inner struggle, but I think that the inner struggle lies with them. Um, if this is something that you are currently going through, again, like I said, I, I feel that they're struggling with the fact that perhaps they just dislike you and it could be for the most pathetic reason. Um, but I think that it's more of a swallowing of the pride because they want to be included or because they want to be around your partner. Now, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. Uh, for others of you, those of you guys that are single, like I said, be very worried. Be mindful. <laughs> uh, the five of wands could represent just people trying to get your attention. And it's like multiple people. So I do see some of you guys, and I know cancers tend to do this. You guys tend to have issues and difficulty releasing the excess. Um, some of you guys go as far as like wanting to keep in, in contact with them as friends or whatnot. Uh, my personal opinion, don't do that. Um, but with the five of wands, I do feel like everyone's trying to come around you and reach out to you. Or this could be you, Cancer. This could be you hitting them up, telling them, hey, what's up? What are you doing? <laughs> Um, just to see if you're able to still have some type of effect in their lives. And what Spirit is telling you is, don't do that. It's time to you. It's time for you to put effort and energy towards something long term or towards something that is of a new beginning that is going to give you rewards or that it's going to benefit you, not just because you're bored. Okay. Now your advice card here is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles could represent an Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It could be a male energy. Um, it could be that your sights are on a Queen of Pentacles or an Earth energy. And if this is you actively pursuing them, um, Cancer, with the Five of Wands, I feel that this person is very sought after. Like they're really going after him or her. They're really trying to get her attention. So if you're unsure if you're wanting to proceed um, or what your intentions are with them, if it's nothing long term, they're going to discard you. They're going to. They're going to chew you. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying. So, again, make sure if you are dealing with an earth energy, um, make sure that you approach them the right way. And if not, don't even approach them. Because I feel that at this point in their life, um, it's like it's it's almost um, the Queen of Wands is almost like towards the Eight of Pentacles, and this is like them really working very hard, or put it, or putting those long hours, or really focused and concentrated in what they're doing. It could be attaining goals. It could be just working extra hours, um, and it's like they're living in a very fast pace and there is a lot of people that are trying to get their attention, but they're not wanting to waste their time with anything that is going to be that of a struggle. So to me, the queen of pentacles is all about longevity. It's all about, you know, come at them the right way. And if you're not, then don't even waste your time because they're, they could be very easy to read other people. And again, if you have a history with them, meaning if this is a person specifically from your past, what they're saying is if you've proven to them or if you've shown them that you have a tendency to connect with people from the past, they're not going to be entertaining that. So just keep that in mind. Now, as an advice card, the Queen of Pentacles is telling you, Cancer, be more practical. You have to be more practical. You have to be more grounded. Have a clear intention of what it is that you're wanting. For those of you guys that are looking for something long term with the star card and the eight of pentacles, I do see you guys being able to move forward. It's almost like the planet and the stars are aligning uh, to take you towards a new path. But there is some type of resistance and it could be because you're very close or connected to the past. So in order to be able to uh, experience new beginnings, this Queen of Pentacles is telling you, Cancer, you need to let go of what's not working for you anymore. That's including friendships. That's including past relationships. That's including, quote unquote, friends that are exes that you're still having them around. Um, and more than anything, invest time, energy and effort 
towards uh, giving the opportunity to people that are very trustworthy. If you can see in this card, there is a dog here. And a dog is always a symbol of loyalty. So again, if you are actively pursuing an earth energy, this is something that is very important to them. Loyalty and stability with the pentacles, um, not necessarily money-wise, because it could be a person that is very self-sufficient, but uh, more of the, on the practical sense. Show them with actions, not with words, okay? Now, the energy that is currently influencing you is the Knight of Swords. So there's definitely some stalking cancer, some stalking going on. Not sure if you're the one that's doing it or they're the ones that are looking to see what you're doing through your social media. Um, but I definitely do see someone. But you know what? I, I want to say now, this is a general read, but I want to say that this could be your energy, Cancer. Um, because if you can see here, the knight is looking towards the queen of pentacles. So it's like, you really have your eye on this person. Um, again, it is a general reading, so it could be them doing that to you. Um, but I'm being more led towards you like snooping around or seeing what's going on in their life. Uh, your next card here is the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is the arrows of love. It signifies, um, it signifies quick and very hasty movement, but in a positive sense. And it could be having the opportunity to having the opportunity to experience a lustful and uh, very passionate or intense connection. Um, for some of you guys, travel could be involved. Uh, for some of you, you may be experiencing wanting to get to know this particular person that showed up in your reading. And with the Eight of Wands, there may be some distance involved or a desire to go to where they're at. Um, I do see the probabilities of a physical connection or being able to spend time physically together is very, very quickly in the horizon. Yeah, see? Let me show you. So you guys have here the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Both of these cards are travel cards. So... I, I do see it could be you, Cancer, that is actually wanting to take a trip or wanting to connect with them on a physical aspect, like going out to see them. Um, and I do see them being very agreeable or actually giving you um, like a date or something where you guys can actually meet. For some of you guys, it could be that you meet this person online. Uh, those of you guys that are currently single, it could represent a relationship that starts to build from social media that goes to the point of actually meeting each other and putting, you know, getting to know each other. Um, but I do see this happening rather quickly. So for those of you guys single out there, <laughs> put yourself out there because I definitely do see very, very quick status changing here for you guys. Um, now I'm going to be pulling out a card for the Moonology Oracle cards. Um, this is a, sp a specific card or a specific message directed for you, Cancer. Now, I do want to put it out there for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term or committed relationship. And again, like I said, you've been dealing with issues in regards to the family dynamic or to the family of your partner. Um, I do see a particular woman. For some of you guys, it could be an earth energy. Um, that is very much involved in your relationship. And it, if you are on social media, just be careful what you post. Don't be petty. Don't be posting things about, you know, um, people that get involved or that are just talking out of their ass. Like, don't don't go as low as they are, um, because I feel that they are like just looking into what you're doing only to start shit. So you don't really need that. And I do see progress and movement. Uh, in regards to your relationship itself, again, if you've been experiencing that your partner or you yourself have been secluding each other or creating distance for um, to pretty much protect the relationship itself, I do see that it's, it's going to serve you very well. And yes, they may come around and want to reconnect because they want to be around um, 
their relative around your partner, or this could be around you if it is your family that doesn't necessarily get along with your partner. Um, but again, like I said, I do see progress at, in a positive way, but still don't allow, don't bring that guard down very quickly. Don't allow people to get too involved in your relationship, okay? Now, in regards to the message for you, what they're telling you here, Cancer, is surrender to the divine, full moon. And what this card is talking about, it is basically exactly what's happening. For those of you guys that experience um, some type of ending uh, or relationships that ended, that now they're coming back around trying to communicate, trying to get involved in your life, whatever it is, don't resist these changes. Don't resist the ending, but don't resist them trying to reach out either because perhaps this is something that is needed. You guys need to remember that full moons are always about uh, surrendering. It's all about trusting and it's to the highest potential of energy. Um, and of course, it's the conclusion as well. So this could be something that is happening because it's taking you on to the next phase of your life, Cancer, okay? And again, like I said, for those of you guys that are single, trust the process, okay? Surrender to the divine could very well represent that the universe is bringing and aligning the person that is right for you. Stop questioning. Stop wondering, will I ever meet the person that is going to be right for me? Stop doubting yourself, Cancer. What they're telling you is have faith and let go of having to be in control. The universe knows what's best for us, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other in January.